know, the reality is something is probably going to happen to you. You're going to be either um, replaced, displaced at the, at the office. Um, you're going to have change in your life. You may have be faced with illness. You may be faced with a natural disaster that's in your, in your community. So you really have to think about how are you going to be one step ahead and always reinventing and reimagining who you are. I like to call uh, these kinds of people reimagineers. The other thing is, you know, when you are about to retire, which is a word I hate, it's a very toxic word, I like to use the word rewire because you're really rewiring how you're going to live the next phase, the next phase of your life. You may have a career for 30 years and then leave that and rewire to a second career for 20 years and then you may rewire again and have a third career for another 20 years. And so, you know, all of the things that are happening in our world are changing. Life passages and life cycles are all very, very different now. Imagination and creativity. One of my great favorite stories is uh, a couple, they were being interviewed on NPR. She was 107 and he was 103 and they were dating. They were a new couple and um, you know, it was great just to hear them. It sounded like they were, you know, 30 again. They were finding love again in their, in their hundreds. So there's a lot of possibility in terms of constantly reimagining who you might be or could be.